Good morning. My name is Radonna Smythe, and I am the Director of Finance for Wheatland Electric Cooperative. I would like to welcome you to Wheatland's annual meeting and thank you for taking the time to come and learn about your cooperative. Please take a few moments to direct your attention to the financial information presented in the annual meeting brochure you received as you came in today. The financial information in your program represents Wheatland's audited financial position as of December 31, 2019. Our income and expenses are presented first and show electric revenues, water and broadband revenues, interest income, capital credits from other cooperatives, as well as non-operating income. Income totaled nearly $102 million in 2019. Our expenses are shown as well, with our largest expense, our cost of power, decreasing significantly this year from $58 million in 2018 to $51 million in 2019. This decline in power cost was the result of two factors. One being 27 million kilowatt hours less usage in 2019 due to a cool summer combined with energy conservation. And secondly, a substantial reduction in the average kilowatt hour cost in 2019 compared to 2018. So our power supplier, Sunflower Electric, is doing a good job managing these costs. Total expenses of $97 million resulted in a profit of $4.8 million in 2019. Included in this profit is a non-cash allocation from our power supplier, Sunflower Electric. When Sunflower retires or makes a cash distribution to Wheatland for the 2019 allocation, the Wheatland Board of Directors will make the decision on how to distribute any cash retirement received. The Board of Directors did make the decision in 2019 to continue the tradition of paying capital credits to you, our members, and a total of $1 million in capital credits were paid in December. The balance sheet for Wheatland for 2019 is also presented. As you can see, the co-op plant assets have grown to over $382 million. Wheatland continues to perform maintenance and improve the total distribution system with our goal of enhancing the reliability and the quality of electricity going to your home and businesses. Property taxes that Wheatland paid in 2019 are also shown by county and listed in your annual meeting brochure. Wheatland paid taxes in 18 counties in 2019, totaling $4,372,175. To summarize the 2019 year, we continue to pay down on our long-term debt and have structured our loan portfolios to lock in lower fixed interest rates to keep interest expenses low and maximize savings. We also have built a more stable equity position that has resulted in capital credit payments to you, our members, totaling $3 million over the last three years. We are meeting the financial requirements of our lenders and continue to provide more cost-effective and accessible services to our membership through the AMI Advanced Electric Metering System, our Smart Hub app, and the Wheatland Prepay Power Program. This concludes my financial report for 2019. Thank you again for coming to the Wheatland Electric Annual Meeting, and if you have any questions, please let me know.